it's Thursday, and yes, I did get a haircut. <laughs> Let's get right to the topic. Okay, so uh, the first, some of the quotes I have for Felicity is, um, I found this quote randomly. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you cannot do. Um, and I kind of think that fits her. I don't know. I really don't know exactly. And another one, um, it's a song, and it's kind of like what I would pick for her, is, um, in your soul, they poked a million holes, but you never let them show. Um, that kind of goes along with her parents. And it's from, that's that, that quote is from How It Ends by Dvochka, which is one of my favorite songs in the world. Okay, that's Felicity. Okay, for some reason, um, a quote that I thought fit Pippa was from the song Eyes on Fire, um, by Blue Foundation. It's on the Twilight soundtrack, and I love that song. Uh, some of you probably know what I mean. Um, okay, so the quote is, Eyes on fire, your spine is ablaze, filling any foe with my gaze, and just in time, in the right place, steadily emerging with grace. For some reason, like, I thought, like, I thought, like, when Pippa, when she dies, and she, you know, becomes evil, and everything, and, um, uh, her her spine is blazed and she like she, f she fills any foe with her gaze like she's just like I don't know it just it reminded me of her a lot of her and just in time in the right place steadily emerging with grace I don't know it just it really fit with her I thought I don't know she, it just did okay. this this is Gemma's one of Gemma's I have uh, it's called it's from the song uh, Walking Walking on Air by Curly and it goes do you know what it's all about? Are you brave enough to figure out? Know that you could set the world on fire if you're strong enough to leave your doubts. Um, I thought that was a really good one to fit. Um, one song I really love by Snow Patrol is Summer Clock is Ticking. And I think it fits Gemma really well. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like this last, the last two quotes of it. In slow motion, the blast is beautiful. Doors slam shut, the clock is ticking, but it's hidden far away, safe and sound. I don't know, for some reason I think that um, fits with Gemma. Another one by Snow Patrol is from Chasing Cars. And I don't know, it just kind of like, I don't know, when I read it, I was just like, Gemma, would you lie with me and just forget, would you lie with me and just forget the world, that part. I don't know, it's just kind of like, and it really fits with uh, Pippa too, I think. And uh, here's, uh, two more. And that is how it happens. One gesture, one person, one moment at a time. And th that is how change happens. Okay. And then, the la of course, this one. I'm running because I can, because I must, because I want to see how far I can go before I have to stop. So, that also. And probably, like, for for those willing to see the world waits. for Gemma. And I have two. Music and its Outburst of the Soul by Frederick Delius Cascino. She, she, music is like what comes out of her um and then sometimes your place is not something you find but something you have when you need it oh that one yeah and i also thought that one fit for lucy so that one i had for lucy too and then for circe i had uh there are no safe choices only other ones and power changes everything till it is difficult to say who you, who are the heroes and who the villains and then now i had Peace is not happenstance. It is a living fire that must be fed constantly. It must be tended with vigilance, else it dies out. I don't know, I just thought that really... I just... yeah. So that's all the things I have. Okay, so I gave it a challenge for everyone to pick their Disney character, and I must say that you guys did really well on the Disney characters, because that's actually who I had in mind for everyone. I didn't think about the Mad Hatter for uh, Nell, because I didn't really know if it's Nell. I was thinking more of a girl, but that's a really good choice. And, yeah, Belle definitely is Gemma, and, and then Felicity definitely is Mulan. I'm trying to think who else. Yeah, but anyway. Okay, my Disney character, I would have Anne as is, um, uh, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella. I don't know, they just seem like, I know they don't look really anything alike, like Anne would supposed to look like. Oh, or Jane from Tarzan. Any of those. I just, I kind of like think they fit 
all together like the whole although Jane looks more like a, of an Anne but she's still pretty I love that movie I remember seeing the movie theaters good movie okay I'm sorry I don't have much energy today I'm, I'm I don't feel well I stayed home today from school and everything and I'm just like really my throat hurts so bad and I think I'm gonna lose my voice soon but yeah um so. so my challenge this week um what I like okay so what I was thinking about for challenges my challenges that I give out um I want everyone to do and because it's, it's really simple like this week I'm gonna have you guys pick a fruit what fruit would your character be I'm crazy like that and I want to know what fruit you guys think your character would be because I think that's a really good challenge so everyone can actually get one and you just say like your fruit like Anne I think it would either be an apple or a strawberry don't ask why okay I don't really know why I just I guess I would see it as an apple because she's like I don't know I, w I don't think of apples as very like beautiful fruit. I just think of them more as like a plain fruit. And you know, they're not very, I don't, I don't like apples at all, but like they're good with other things. Like I don't like eating them plain. I like eating them with like, I don't know, in a pie or like applesauce. They're like good with something else. So it's, I don't know if that has anything to do with Anne, if she's good with something else, but I don't know. And a strawberry? I don't know. I just always strawberry she just kind of like seems like strawberry sweet and I don't know strawberries are red and she has ruddy cheeks I don't know what that's doing don't ask so yeah <laughs> anyway I want to know if any of you viewers are entering anything in Libba's contest and if you are tell me in the comments what you're entering I've entered at least five of my videos that I've made um fan videos and I'm going to enter one more parody contest, which I'm not going to tell you because it's a surprise. So subscribe to my, you know, my channel, which I'll link in the sidebar. And I'll link Libba's thing in the sidebar, her link to her <laughs> live journal. And I'll link, oh, and watch GET Conglomerations coming at you this Sunday with Brooke and Lynn as your Sunday. They are amazing. If you haven't seen them, they're going to do a parody which is going to be awesome. And you'll find out what the topic is on Sunday, so keep in tune. Subscribe, rate, comment, all that jazz, and everything. Yes.